Welcome to Dr. Coco's Kitchen. I am Dr. Chanel, but in my kitchen they call me Dr. Coco because I keep it spicy and I'm elevating your food and wine experiences. I am so excited, like for real, I'm geeked, um, because this month I have a special unboxing. I am unboxing my Le Creuset five, how many? Five liter. I'm unboxing my Le Creuset pot and I'm so excited. Um, I have a couple of small items and I couldn't decide on a color. I didn't know if I wanted to get um, the Marsales, um, sea salt. It was just, I was just going back and forth between what color I wanted to get because I wanted everything in my kitchen to be cohesive, as well as I knew that what if I wanted to move and change the color palette of my kitchen? I wanted my cookware to continue to match a color pattern that was true to me and not just match like one kitchen. So I decided on sea salt. And I am about to open this bad boy up and you all are gonna share the experience with me as I unbox my first Big Le Creuset purchase. Okay, let me open this thing. Yeah. Stuff is in here, huh? Oh, this is safe and secure. Okay. Well, we know that it's not gonna fall out of the box if you're carrying it around. That's good. So this is enameled cast iron. Um, it has even heat retention. It's ideal for heating all sources, including induction. So it's hard. Broke a sweat. My edges. <laughs> I'm just saying, just being honest here. <sighs> okay. Got the top open. I don't even know if it's. Oh. I like those notes. I used to be in choir. Okay. So, this is her top, okay? She's nice and pretty. Has the, what is this, silver or pewter hardware. I think it would be really nice with gold hardware, but I'm a little partial to gold, but so this is her top, her lid. And, I feel like a kid on Christmas morning. This sucker's heavy. Um, this is her. I just know it's five and a quarter. So maybe five liters and a quarter quart. Don't quote me on that. But it's enamel cast iron. It has even heat retention. It's ideal for all heat sources, including induction. And it's durable, hard wearing enamel surface. Um, makes it really easy to clean. At least that's what it says on the box. <laughs> I am going to try it out. I am going to make um, a small gumbo in it as my first dish. But it's such a pure, pretty color. This sea salt, I mean, I don't really know what color the salt in the sea is or where they came up with this, but I'm here for the color. As you can see, it matches my picture in the background. And I know I want this picture to go with me wherever I go. And green is my favorite color. So this is a really nice balance because it's like not all the way blue, not all the way green, but in that family. Um, you can cook soups, stews. Like I said, I'm going to make a small gumbo in this pot. Um, just something like, you know, for maybe a few people, not a lot. Typically you would cook gumbo in a huge pot, but this is something smaller. Um, you can probably cook some beans in here, stews, soups, bisque. Um, anytime you're like trying to feed maybe less than five people, I would definitely recommend this size pot. Although I do believe they have a larger um, dish that will probably hold something like a gumbo. And I keep on mentioning gumbo because it's that season, tis the season. It has this manual here that I'm sure tells you about like all the details. It's in quite a few different languages. I think it's like maybe seven different languages on here. Um, I can't wait to use this. So you guys stay tuned as I use my Le Crusette pot for the first time. I'm super excited. 
Y'all have no idea how long I've been stocking, uh, stalking the sets, trying to figure out like, do I want to get the 14 piece, the 12 piece? Um, do I want to, you know, once I purchase a certain color, you're committing to that color. I don't want to have like two sets of 14 piece cookware. So this was my first one. And this particular size, the reason I decided to get this size is because it's not included in the cookware sets that they sell. So even when I get the set, um, I'll still have this piece in addition to whatever set I decide on. So that was another factor that contributed. And lean in a little bit. Your girl loves a good sale. So I shopped around a little bit and I found it somewhere that was, um, let's just say I got a very good deal on it. So you'll have to stay tuned to see how my first experience goes with my new baby. I'm so excited. Okay, catch me on the next edition of Dr. Coco's Kitchen. Um, I'm doing an unboxing pretty much every month. This month, like I said, was the Le Creuset Pot. Um, if you like what you saw and if you want to see more unboxings each month, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dr. Coco's Kitchen. You like this post, leave me some comments if you have any questions um, and you share the post. I'll see you next time.